The Topton Fanless Mini PC is a Chinese computer in a very small form factor, but is the small size and cost going to offer big performance? Let's find out. It's packed with a Celeron J4125, a processor mostly used in tiny, low-power computers. The majority are AliExpress bargain machines like the Topton Fanless Mini PC and other Chinese brands. These small units come with four RJ45 ports that use the Intel i225V B3 chip, which offers 2.5 gigabits Ethernet. That makes for a wonderful firewall slash router unit. So, of course, I picked one up. In this photo, you can see the appeal of this mini PC having four Intel 2.5 gigabit ports, offering much better driver support for things like PFSense or OPNSense compared to the Realtek versions. You can even add Wi-Fi to this system. Some other specs on this Mini, two storage options. There's one M SATA and one 2.5 inch SATA. Unfortunately, no NVMe on this unit. Has a single SO DIMM. Apparently some models do actually have dual SIMs, but not this one that I picked up. There's an HDMI and VGA output right on the board. Has support for AES and I. The entire body is aluminum alloy, so it helps with the fanless system to cool off. Again, it has a Celeron J4125 with only 10 watts TDP. If you have a bunch of old computer parts laying around, like me, you can opt for the bare bones unit and save a little money. Otherwise, you can get several different configurations of RAM and storage. So what is the Celeron J4125? To start with, the Intel Celeron J4125 is a CPU released in the fourth quarter of 2019. This little chip packs four cores and four threads with a base frequency of 2 GHz and can ramp up to 2.7 GHz. Intel lists it as supporting a max of 8 gigs of RAM, but there are some listings that I've found that show 16 gigs, so I'm not really sure. For those curious, Yes, this small fanless unit does support 4K at 60 Hz and VTX, which allows you to run things like Proxmox or ESXi. So how does this compare? That's a great question. Seems to place around the equivalent of an older 5th generation series core chip, such as the i5-5200U. Passmark scores it 2980, placing it around the AMD FX4300. I have an Intel i3-6100T, which pulls in a score of 3630, which is a chip from 2015 with just two cores and four threads. There's no boost speeds, blocked at 3.2 gigahertz. So while it isn't more performance, it is much more efficient at that performance. So what's inside this unit? In this photo here, you can see the cover off. In the top left, you see the slot to add your Wi-Fi module. Just below that is the M SATA connector, and yes, it even supports SIM cards for cellular service. On the right side is a single SO DIMM slot. Along the very top are four RJ45 ports. So where does this thing really shine? The great advantage is the low power consumption. It can keep pace with some older machines while using a fraction of the electricity. Important these days, with gas prices going higher and higher, but the J4125 also supports DDR4-2400, while some of the older CPUs mentioned above only support DDR4-2133. That small difference could mean about a 12.5% increase in performance. So how small are we talking here? To really appreciate how mini this fanless PC is, I placed a 2.5 inch SATA drive on top for comparison. While that helps, still makes this device look pretty big. So here's a slightly larger 3.5 inch SATA drive. I was going to compare it against the size of a book, but I think you get the idea. It's pretty small. I've even run my Topton fanless mini PC 24-7 for about 3 months now with zero issues with the unit. It is powering my firewall router on a Verizon Fios gigabit connection. I have saturated the network, both internally and externally, with large downloads, and this little J4125 handles it like a champ. I don't think I've ever seen the CPU go above 35%, and with 8 gigs of RAM in it, that doesn't go much above 4 gigs at any given time. I've tested it with both OPN Sense and PF Sense. So would you recommend this device, Howie? Absolutely. Not only does it perform decently, it sips electricity and has a relatively low price tag, especially compared to many other tiny mini micro units that are on eBay. 